Hello, how are you? Oh, the llamas are so cute. I like their little uh, scarves and hats. They're very cute. Um, I'm playing in the uh, the latest snapshot, 16W39B. Just came out today. I'm still getting over my Minecon cold, so I'm staying home one last day. And I'm here in my snapshot creative world which i didn't do as a flat super flat um and i don't exactly remember why but um let's let's try something hi bark okay i apologize if this hurts Oh, it does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at my cape. Okay. Uh, let's let's get you some. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's get you some steak. How about that? You like steak? Cook steak? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Oh, and that also has, still happens. They're facing the wrong way. This guy's almost facing the right way, but he doesn't track me with his head. Huh. Okay. Oh, hey, you changed your head direction. Oh, interesting. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay, so... Hi, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Um, yeah, I'm in my, in, my, in my snapshot testing world. I wanted to show you uh, the sorting system in this form because it'll be easier to do than in the world itself. Uh, so this is how I'm going to do sorting for the mob farm uh, Right here woohoo nice Pardon me six double chests tall in slices I'm probably gonna put two of each drop in the slices um, the elevator I found this this is not a new design. I didn't make this up um, So the droppers and instead of the usual torch tower, uh, the way I normally build it, by doing this and, and putting a, we normally put like comparator, boop, repeater, comparator on subtract mode and loop the redstone around to create a little clock. And then uh, run that into, into here. Instead of doing that, um, got a little hopper clock here, just two hoppers pointing into each other, a little hard to see there, boop with just one item in it. And uh, when this torch unpowers, because there's something in the bottom dropper here, this guy goes back and forth, which outputs a signal here and powers this tower of torches, but it does it in a very regular pattern. And it does in such a way that the, the items go up quietly. There's no ticking because you're never trying to power an empty dropper, which is when you get the click. And if you keep the number of droppers in the thing uh, to an even number, in this case I've got 10, then uh, it'll be completely silent and it goes I mean, somewhat quickly. It's not as fast as a, as a glass elevator, but uh, it's easy to set up. And then I have run into a row of, of hoppers and blue, and then this is a sort of typical um, sorting system with overflow protection. Uh, so let me show you what I've what I've got over here. The the main I'm doing iterations here because I wanted to see how close I could get these to this. Um, the or the orientation of this was kind of important because I have a wall here that I cannot dig into because it's the side of the drop zone of the mob farm. So everything had to be as flush against that wall as possible, and this is the best orientation that I could come up with. And to make matters more complicated. The, uh, the drop floor of the mob farm is a couple blocks below where I'm going to want to walk. So I've got a couple there. But because of that means I can move this a little bit closer. So I only have to have a couple spaces of uh, space. And the reason it's not even closer is because I've got a block here. This guy, this guy, this guy. Now, right there. Uh, that block, this block is powered. 
I have an interesting thought. And it's powered because of this torch down here. If I put a half slab there, well... <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <sighs> I'm making a mess everywhere. If I put a sl If I do this out of slabs... Then I don't have to worry about that. I can actually move this guy... I can't have I can't have these hoppers right here, but I can move them here. It saves me a little bit of space. It because um, I'm gonna have to make a little hallway to walk down to to get into the storage room. Ah, oh, I might just do that. That's cool. Uh, otherwise, with that block being powered, this hopper gets locked, and it and unless the clock is running it won't actually let things pass there oh cool okay I'm glad I tried that that's exciting so and I and I have multiple iterations because I've been playing around with the different variations like that and I wanted to figure out how to build this thing in survival so this is the process that I've come up with I put up five blocks like that a five the chest six six double chest tall facing that direction and then jump down here and uh, get our hoppers and run hoppers into the back of it into well, if we learn how to right click properly um, boop right click and put hoppers into the into the back of each of these chests Right, and then get back up there and climb up. Bloop. And then I need this guy here, so we go no, we we shift while we right click and we put a block here. Boop. Not there, right here, boop. And then um and then we need to put a block on top of that. Punch out that guy. And then a block on top of that now because I'm next to another slice I could just place that on the side of that but I wanted to so I figure out how to build the first one and then back here I have to put a redstone torch there right and then hopper goes into that hopper a tra chest or a trap chest on top of that and I'll explain why that in a moment then this guy goes down into the chest and then we put let's put the next the next set of blocks on pop pop and we go here and we go here and then we put a comparator here now this guy gets tricky so we have to well we don't have to but do that and then we put a the hopper facing into this block and then we want this hopper to face to flow continue to the side now in this case we're going to take a chest and put it here and uh, this is our overflow we would normally just go on to the next slice but um and then grab some redstone and we put down three redstone pop 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 and now now we set this up now i took some blocks rename them to something unique so that no natural blocks of the same type would ever accidentally get into the system. Grab a stack of whatever as I'm sorting and it'll start to flow down through and it'll flow down to 41 blocks. Um, 41, uh, and then, whoops, ooh, okay. And then one gets stuck in here. Uh, which is fine um it'll it'll flow through eventually and then we're going to put an item frame up here to identify what is in this slice All right Blop. that sound is so weird okay now we're done um now we're done so oh and then i've been putting redstone tort uh, redstone lamps right here now the slabs are just to keep things from spawning up here if you keep if everything's lit properly it's optional 
right? And then we're going to put down a few blocks to make this a little bit more reachable. Okay, cooperate. I could be organizing my inventory a little bit better. But, and then label it for the come in and say oh well I know what's in here right there's nothing in there but there will be like 22 of these strings in here okay so let's ditch those so how does it work it works pretty darn well um, oh we do want to get rid of well we don't need to but I'm going to get rid of this because I like things kneading up a bit. Okay, um, this chest is here as a chest instead of a hopper because the chest is not affected by this redstone torch. If this were a hopper, it would get locked by this redstone torch and it would, it would, um, it would lock things up in there. It'd be a little bit messier. So by putting in this chest as a buffer, um, as a non-hopper buffer, it doesn't get locked up and everything's good. Uh, the slabs, you would normally go and put them up here as well because this is, this shouldn't be spawnable because this should prevent this from being an air block, but you can come up and just do this. It will not prevent the chest from opening. But anyway, uh, and then all the ones up on top. So let's go throw some stuff in here and show you how it works. My sound is up, so I'm not cheating anything here. And notice, no ticking. That's really nice. And stuff is flowing up through, and it's a nice even to do 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 do. And if I come over here, you'll see the redstone lamps indicating, oh, there's a bone, there's a bone and string. There's an arrow and string, there's a string, so on. So as they flow down through, and, and these aren't as even because it takes time for it to move through each hopper. But if we come up here, stuff's flowing down into here. It's very nice. It's not flowing into here. This system works better than what I had at the uh, Guardian Farm on uh, the first season. So this works pretty well. Um, and it, it everything will flow down into here. And other than that one that gets trapped in that one hopper, all the items will flow into here. And when this fills up, they'll flow into here. And when this fills up, they'll flow into here. So it'll it'll fill up nice and neatly. And uh, it won't go into the second slice until the first slice is full, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then if I want to do an overflow, the last slice doesn't need the overflow slice doesn't need a sorting system. All it needs is a, um, a chest. Uh, I mean, you know, basically the, all the hoppers and chests doesn't need the sorting system. If you want the redstone lamp to go off, um, you can put one in and just don't put any of the sort of helper blocks in here. Just leave this empty and then everything will flow through it regardless and it will do that. And then up here, just off to the side, I put like an overflow for the overflow just in case it gets filled up or something. Probably unnecessary, but you know, hey. So there you go. Um, so I think that's a pretty, pretty neat thing. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. There's a lot of hoppers involved. Um, so there's a lot of iron. But, you know, I can always get more iron. And I do need to build that iron farm. Uh, when you get done, you can slab all of this, you know, just to keep stuff from spawning back here. And again, you want to slab here, just keep stuff from spawning in here. You can also slab under there if you want. And again, it doesn't prevent the chest from opening because they're slabs. So yeah, um, so it's pretty cool. It works. It works nicely. And it's quiet, you don't get all that ticking. And if there were blocks underneath, like if I want to extend this this row of blocks out, out to here, I could put no blocks up here and it would play music as it sorts. Although that might be kind of annoying. Who knows? It's not the fastest thing in the world. 
see it's still it's still working on that oh it just finished and boop cool so now we have full stack here full stack here full stack here full stack here pretty nice and nothing is in the overflow but if I come down here and drop in something that is not actually one of the sorting slots it'll go up and it will end up in hey fly it'll end up in the overflow chest there we go see nice so anyway I think that's a I think that's a, a pretty pretty cool thing I'm gonna do there are 11 drops that you can expect out of the mob farm plus a few miscellaneous things so we got we got you know like um, the zombies will drop the flesh the skeletons will drop these the uh, string from the spiders uh, gunpowder from creepers and witches and then you got the witch drops you have the redstone glowstone sugar bottles and um, and sticks and I'm planning on you know the gardening farm I needed to do multiple slices for each item and I think because the the items were flowing through water on top of ice so they were moving faster in some cases than the hoppers could pick them up uh, in this case it all flows nicely the only reason to add multiple slices for each is for capacity so this is six double chests per slice plus hoppers it's another five slots um and then if you really get backed up i mean you can you know fill up these guys but um so 12 double chests should be enough i would think um the witch drops i probably don't need as many i can probably get away with one of each of those because they fill up pretty slowly from this mob farm uh the gunpowder is uh much more prevalent because it's not just a witch drop but i'm gonna go i have all the the, the resources except for the redstone lamps which i'll have to build and uh, i think i have everything lined up so let's go check out the uh the server okay be right back okay here we are back at the mob the, the mob farm i switched off the oh there's some iron there i'm um, sorry <laughs> something shiny uh i switched off the water the water uh clock up inside the mob farm to slow this thing down so that i could get in and reroute all these hoppers but they're still falling it's just not as frequently um and because i didn't have the chest down here front and center now um i had to put in a little notch here for experience to get out for when i have to shoot the spiders and the witches and stuff so this back here is where i'm going to put everything nice and oh yeah that's right we need some stone brick slabs. And I think I have some. Let's just find them. If not, I can make some. But I should have some here. Oops, not there. Uh, oh, yeah, slabs right here. Okay, so this is the back little area here. I need to clean this up, and I'm going to have to dig out a bit more. And as I said, I've got, um, I kind of have the farm sort of in as much as is possible off mode, but still picking up stuff. And I cleaned this out not too long ago. Oop. I hear a spider. Spider did not die. Okay, so let's empty out this. Cool, so um, let's grab my redstone torches. I don't need all these I can reduce my what I'm carrying a little bit ah oh, that's the one there okay cool I'm not gonna I'm not gonna replace the whole floor with with the slabs but but if I do this boop that means I can place that there yes very exciting very exciting and here's the telephone again okay so I've got a bunch of chests I don't need this uh, um, 
I will need these eventually. I don't need the water at the moment. And uh, so I need to make chests and trap chests on the fly. I've got that. I've got that. I need, oh, I need a lot more comparators, don't I? Okay, we'll have to go make them. And hoppers. Lots of hoppers. Cool. So. So, yeah. So, this is kind of cool in that I know I can place my chest here. I'll start with a regular chest. Pop, pop. Two, three, four, five, six. So, this is as high as that's going to go. Do I, I have too many droppers here, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and I can't. Okay, hang on a second. Come on. There we go. Woo! Ah! Trying to catch the, uh, the ladder there. Okay, now I need hoppers. Those ender pearls might actually be useful. All right, okay, so one. One, two, three. Come on. Four, five, six. Nice. Okay. And now, uh, I guess I'll pillar up from over here. Oh, we need blocks. Oh, and I need to do a couple things really importantly. Ah. <sighs> Let's use some of this 133 levels of experience that I have. Uh, so I need, give me a couple of things of stone. Make, boop, boop. And go like that, boop, boop. Nice. Now we are going to do this. And let's uh, get to make our sorter helpers. And the anvil broke, of course. I was wondering if it was going to do that. Cool. So we can get up up here. Do, 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 do. And jump down here. Ouch. Okay. So now here we go. Now I have to remember or not. I actually have, I took snapshots of each step. So put up the chest, then put up the uh, hoppers. I've got that done. Now uh, pillar back up. Hopper, chest hopper. Okay. Hopper, chest, and then there's a hopper needs to go on top of that. Can I just get that from here? Boop, boop, boop. Very good. Chest hopper. Now I need to get one of that there. So we come up here, we go. Oh, I may not have, I don't have enough room here. I'm going to have to dig out more space, which is fine. Um, Put you down there. You're just regular. No, you're my sorter helper. Put my regular blocks down here. We go. Pop. All right. Pop. Ugh. How did I do that? Sorry. This is must be fascinating. This is how I try to help myself build things. Okay, there we go. So this, we need to get rid of this. Right, and so this is then where the repeater goes. Repeater. Pop. And we are going to need more space over this way. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm just gonna build one of these on camera, then I'm gonna just go build the rest of it. But you get you get the idea. Let's uh let's put an actual oh let's put an actual torch up here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And back up pop okay here we go so now repeater facing towards the chest now I need to put 
two blocks up around the sides of that. Can I do this? I should be able to, right? Yeah, I should be able to, but I can't. So we'll just do that. Dig out him. And, oh, he. And we can dig out that and that. Okay, so now. Do, do, do. Now I need a block. I'm going to put a row of blocks behind this here for me to place the hoppers that face to the back. And then this is going to go like that. And All right, and then uh, I need to place the door. Don't forget the redstone torch. That'll cause the whole freaking thing to break if you do not place it. And then I got to put a block on top of that. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, and then bop, and then bop. Good. Okay, so now. Uh, and then I need a block up here to put the hopper into the side. So basically, if the item if the item doesn't flow, doesn't get picked up by coming here, it'll move on to the next slice, right? And then uh, this is where my comparator goes. I need to go make a bunch more comparators. Pop. And then uh, redstone. Let's get a little bit of redstone. Pop, pop, pop. And I didn't bring. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so then this is right to the rear, to the side. Item frame. Redstone, redstone. Let's put in our uh, sorting blocks. So this is my sorter helper. Boop. You can go there. And then uh, I'm going to start off with. Uh, what am I going to start off with? Boop. I should get some ladders and build a way up there. Um, I have item frame, so, right? Item frame. And I have. We're going to start off with zombie flesh. Yeah. Very good. All right. So then, take my stack of zombie flesh and stick it in here. And it'll start to flow down in. And it should stop at 41. Okay, so now, now we have the part where we actually hook things up. So right now, so you have, I've still got more stuff already. And so let's just get rid of this, pop, pop. And we need to put on this and put on this. Now it should start working. It should start sorting out the zombie flesh, right? And everything else will get stuck in here. So let's see what we get. Shouldn't take too long before we know. And when zombie flesh does come into here, it'll power this guy up and then this It'll increase the power that this is outputting because right now it's outputting power of two, right? Um, unpowered comparator. It's outputting power two. So it goes here and here and that's it. And then when it, there's one more item in there, it becomes power, power, power. It goes up to three. Okay, come on. Come on, zombie. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we still have the 22 in there. Oh, hello. Do we get a 23rd? Yep, 23rd. Yay, it's working. Um, and again, if, uh, oh, maybe that's 24. 23. I hear skeletons. I hear all kinds of great stuff. So, yep, so I got some skeleton residue just sitting there waiting to be picked up. So good, so it's uh, it's working. Obviously, I need to dig this out, I need to make this a lot bigger, and then I need to figure out how far along here I'm gonna go, right? How far I can go, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I have some water here somewhere. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got back here. Got some gravel. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. So this is the walkway up there into the mob farm. I can I can reroute this water and fill things in a bit. Cool. So I can make that work. Water's going everywhere, isn't it? Sweet. Cool. Okay. So there you go. That's where the mob farm sorter is going to go. And uh, we'll have that up and running to some degree in no time. And where do I come in? Right there. Sweet. And another block, please. Boop. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll, we can dig it out a little bit, and then I'm going to want to be able to go a few blocks further, and if I need to, wrap it around to the other side. So I need to dig this out quite a bit. And then when I get done putting this in, this uh, wall here, this ladder is, uh, you know, temporary to help let me get up here and check out the chest that I had up there that I don't have up here any longer. Um... So, I won't need it. Don't need to dig that up quite so high. And then, um, ooh, yeah. So then, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this since I won't need that ladder any longer, and I'll move my access to over that side, I'll build with these blocks a wall here. So this hallway, you walk past the, uh, the mob, kill chamber and you walk down here boop and then you're in the room so you're just gonna have to walk one two three four five more blocks than you currently are should work reasonably well I would think oh yeah so the XP is able to get out there cool so there you go I uh, hope that's interesting I think it's really cool and I'm glad it's gonna be nice and quiet look at that got more stuff more stuff ready to go um, and in fact I might do something like like this to keep stuff from flowing while I'm working on it okay sweet there we go anyway that's that um, I'm still sick I'm gonna go get some soup that uh, Chihuahua Power G made for me last night in our pressure cooker that actually turned out really good and um and then sit and watch tv while i work on this not so bad it should be easy enough to to do out i just need to do some digging and i think that's it thank you for watching and i will oops, that's not going to do any good i will see you next time and uh we will have an actual working farm at that point all right talk to you later bye